Hey, welcome to another fingernail fixer video. For this video, we are going to see if the Orly Gel FX actually comes off easily, like it says, or if it is a gel polish nightmare. So let's take a look at removal. I am wearing a color from the Surrealist collection. The colors are listed down below in the caption. First, the top coat has to be removed with a file. This is standard practice for most gel polishes. You're going to have to file off the top coat in order to have the soak off removal. So once you get your top coat filed off, you're going to be ready to apply acetone. And I like to use pro tip clips, especially on myself. It's a lot easier to get them on than any type of wrap. Once you have them wrapped, let's give it a shot at 10 minutes to start off with and see how it does after 10 minutes. And then if we need more time after that, we will go from there. It's been 10 minutes. Let's take a look at the results and see how things are looking under the pro tip clips. We want to make sure that we're gently using the orange wood stick for removal, not any metal tools. And I'm going to see how much I can scrub off with the remaining acetone on the pad that I already have in there. And in some cases, the product will completely come off and you won't need the orange wood stick at all. And in other cases, you may need to just gently flake away something that's left. If it doesn't gently flake away, don't scrape it. Scraping it is how you end up damaging the nails. It's not the product that damages the nails, it's improper application or removal. So make sure you're not scraping to get it off. This is actually coming off pretty good. A lot of gel polishes are really difficult to remove and I would say the easy off base is living up to its name. So I'm pretty impressed with the easy off base coat right now. This is coming off pretty well for a gel polish. A lot of them have to be removed and rewrapped for another five to 10 minutes. So this is going actually pretty well. And you're gonna have a little bit of dryness from using acetone or an acetone based remover. And you can replenish that by putting oil on at the end of the service after you reapply color. Oh, look how nice that just flipped up and came off. That is really nice removal. I'm pretty impressed with that. That is extremely impressive. So it looks like this product is actually going to live up to the promise and come off easily. <laughs> going by the solid little piece here that is probably user error in the wrapping chances are good i didn't get my little piece of cotton and acetone over that edge as securely as i could have and so sometimes you'll have to use a little bit of acetone and work at it a little bit with the acetone if it doesn't gently flake away with the stick hold that acetone on there Oh, that one came off beautifully. Yeah, this easy off base coat with the Orly is working really nicely. So the trick to the removal is gonna be making sure you got the top coat off completely when you're doing your buffing off of the top coat and then making sure that you have the nails wrapped nice and tight with your acetone remover so that it has good contact and has the opportunity to remove it properly. Otherwise, just rewrap if you need to rewrap them for a little bit and let it hang out and finish doing its job so you don't damage the nails. I'm going to give this product a fingernail fixer stamp of approval. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.